Question 17. The lines y equals x minus 2 and x plus y equals 10 are drawn on the grid. And there they are. Here is x plus y equals 10 and here is y equals x minus 2. On the grid, mark with a cross each of the points with integer, that means whole number, integer coordinates that are in the region defined by y is greater than x minus 2, x plus y is less than 10, and x is greater than 3. Okay, so the first thing you would have to do is draw all these lines on there as equals. So y equals x minus 2, that's already there. x plus y is less than 10, that's already there. Remember, all that means is that the x coordinate plus the y coordinate is 10. So for example, this point here is 9, that's the x coordinate, plus 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. That one there is 8 plus 2. That one there is 7 plus 3. So it always adds to 10, and when you get coordinates that always add to 10, this is the line that you get. This line here, y equals x minus 2, it means that the y coordinate is always the x coordinate take away 2. So if you look at this, the x coordinate is 2, 2 take away 2 is 0, and that's what the y coordinate is. This one here, the x coordinate is 3, 3 take away 2 is 1, so that's what the y coordinate is. Now you've got to do x is greater than 3. So you've got to draw the line x is equal to 3. And all that is, is a line where the x coordinate is always 3, no matter where you go. So that is here. So I'm going to draw this line. That's the line x equals 3, I'll label that. Because no matter where you go, the x coordinate is always 3. So if we had a line like y equals 5 or something, that would be here. Because no matter where you go, the y coordinate is 5. But we don't need that. So, now what we need to do is we need to find the area defined by this. So look at the first one. y is greater than x minus 2. So here's the line y equals x minus 2. That area where y is greater than x minus 2 is either going to be on this side of the line or this side of the line. And all you're going to do is check. So if we pick this up, any point on this side of the line, let's choose this one here. Is that statement true? Is here y greater than x minus 2? Well, let's have a look. y is 4, x is Four, x minus 2 then would be 2. Is y bigger? Yes, because it's 4. So it's this side of the line. So we don't want that side of the line. So I'll scribble that out. Next question. x plus y is less than 10. So we need to find the area where x plus y is less than 10. Well here's x plus y equals 10, the line. Again, pick a point. So if I pick this point, is x plus y less than 10? Well, x is 6, y is 6, so that's 6 plus 6 is 12, so no, it's not this side. We want this side of this line. Okay, so if I pick this point here, is x plus y less than 10? Uh, 4 plus 4 is 8, so yes, so we don't want that there. So I'll scribble that out. Okay, and the last bit, where is x greater than 3? Well, this one's a lot easier because x is greater than 3 this side. This side, x is less than 3. So we don't want this bit, so scribble that out. So the area defined by these three things is inside there. And it says, on the grid, mark with a cross, an x, each of the points with integer coordinates that are in the region defined by this. So... It means you've got to take all the points like that, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, uh, 5, 4. Now you might be thinking, do you do the ones on the line? You don't. You can't have the ones on the line because they're all less thans or greater thans. If they were less thans or equal to, you might be able to have some on the line but because it's all less than, it can't touch the line. So any points that do not touch a line, so you can't have that one, you can't have that, you can't have that, you can't have that, you can't have that, 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 that. These ones don't touch any lines, so that's okay. If, for example, the x greater than 3, if it was x is greater than or equal to 3, 
you would be allowed to have anything on this three line. So you could be able to have that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, but not that one because it's touching the other line, and not that one because it touches this line. But we don't have to worry about that. They're all greater than or less than. So these are the four coordinates.